Okay, so this week I shall be playing with my new toy. I've got a, a hangy dryer so or dehydrator. So uh, just on a hook, hangs up. We've just picked some herbs. So we shall see if this little beauty works. There we have it. I have just put a nice layer of mulch around. So if I come down a little bit lower. So to stop this slipping and sliding around everywhere, I'm gonna drill a, a hole in the middle of here. I found the wife. What are you up to? Uh, as I have said before, we have had a lot of um, a lot of growth. growth. So there we go. Uh, that's the foundations in. Like I said, one block will be below ground level now. I may have to think about altering security arrangements here. The hoopoo in the background. I think that's tarragon coming up. Mm -hmm. Got a bit there, it looks the same. So. Certainly it's spread out from a tiny little bit I've planted over there. A hangy dryer so or dehydrator, so uh, 
just on a hook, hangs up. We've just picked some herbs, so we shall see if this little beauty works. So today we're going to clear all this wood out of the way, uh, so that we can make the entrance to Max's uh, house go through. Because I want to put some more um, of this here, basically extend it a bit, so we have more shade where the tractor is. Obviously the tractor will be going in the shed, but um, where the car parks we need more shade because the evening sun comes in this way. So we're going to shift all this, put a new post in, uh, so we can start work on that basically. And Gilly's going to catch any mice we find. Gilly! Here! Here! Let's! 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 So we've decided to dig a hole here and concrete this bit of quartzite rock in the ground. Uh, so I can cut the top off here, make it square, put a pin in the centre, a pin in the centre of the piece of wood which is there, uh, so that way the wood is not buried in the ground, so it's less likely to rot. There we go.
your bag, we'll pop into it. Yeah, looks like a Yeah, I just wanted to get a cup. Same shapes as stone. Yeah. So now as you can see it sits lovely on top of there. And it sits in tight up here. So what I need to do now is is because this uh, beam is bending slightly, which is why I want to put another uh, beam across here. So I'll jack it up the macro prop and then we'll screw through. Hold it in position. So to stop this slipping and sliding around everywhere, I'm going to drill a, a hole in the middle of here, middle-ish. So that it gives us an indication where this is sitting. I'll put that where it came from. Looking like that, yeah. And nice and snug against the top, I'll just drill through from there.
So there we go, uh, that's the foundations in. Like I said, one block will be below ground level now. Um, so 40, 50, 50 or so blocks left to lay there and the, the concrete is in for this side as well. So there's no excuse now, I can actually build. I'll probably tomorrow get this side done and maybe a bit of this side as well. But yeah, but as for now, um, Andrew's dad has Andrew's dad has brought us a lovely uh, steak, so barbecue for tea. So while I continue with the um, foundations of the raised bed, uh, hopefully I'll get them done today, and I'll lay the blocks some more. I'm going to have a quick look at what Andrew's doing today. Hello. Hello. We had uh, three years ago, I think it was, planted a walnut here. Yeah. Sadly, it died. Uh huh. We had just a nice stick. So, uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm in here clearing this area. We have a, quite a bit of dead broom here. So, I'm going to clear that out, and that can be used for fire starting or the, either the pizza or oven, barbecue tonight. Or on our barbecue tonight. Nice bit of stick. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> um, <laughs> So I'm just going to clear this area here um, and as I was up at the market on Sunday doing my little paper pot demonstration uh, we picked up a really nice mulberry bush. Now is it a white mulberry? No hand? it's a black mulberry. Oh it's a black one, one is it? we have here somewhere which I'm sure you're going to dig out. Uh, <laughs> over there I think it's somewhere. It's a, we have so much foliage. Yeah. Um, so it's yes. A, it's a white mulberry so this is a black mulberry. Brilliant. This is going to get huge, like 20, yeah. Well, that would be useful here. So I'll clear a lot of this broom out of the way, uh, clear this area up, dig it over, get this little beauty in, and it will be mulched with a nice big pile of the olive chippings that we did the other day. Ideal. So that's as much as I've done uh, so far. I'm reluctant to, f to finish this front edge um, because I need to get the tractor back in here with the soil to fill this back up. So I need this to go off a bit before I finish off the top edges and any more on the front. So for this week, that's it for the raised bed. Obviously the foundations for the other side are done as well. So we can, uh, yeah, finish it all off. And then we'll have yeah, we'll have about 20, 22 square metres of growable area. I found the wife. What are you up to? Uh, as I have said before, we have had a lot of um, A lot of growth. growth. I found my buddleia, spready plant with flower. Oh yeah, well done. And I've got an orange ice plant here. So I've got a few... But I just need to, it's just mad how things have literally like within a week it's just gone overtaken with chaos. Overtaken so, with chaos. Yes, this is my life. I'm being distracted from my work here. It's not fair. Look at the size of these guys now. There's one. This one here, the fucking white one. The floppy ears like his granddad. Hey. Eh? Okay, I've just come out to give Bubble and Squeak their breakfast. So they've got oranges, apples, carrots, uh, normal pig food and grain. And They eat all the grainy bits first and then they'll eat the fruit. Um, I always put water with their food just to make sure when he gets it on his face, um, just to make sure they get plenty of uh, liquids. But uh, talking of the water, swing around. Right, we have a water barrel here with a feeder and I always, or a dripper. I always check that it works. And in the catchment bowl underneath, we have 
Hey, little turtle. So, um, there he is. He's all alive. So I'm just going to go. We have a little barragine here. So I'm just going to go and put him down by there. So uh, it is amazing what we find and in weird places. Right, so this is our little barragine area. Got a lovely coating of duckweed on at the moment. And there's lots of marks on the surface, which is obviously where things like frogs and bits and pieces have scooted along. So our little turtle... Come on, mate. Oh, he's got quite a long tail. So you need to go into the big wide world. Come on. <laughs> Obviously, he likes a drinking bowl. Come on. <laughs> I'll put him on the bank then. Oh, that's a bit out of focus. Come on, there you go. There you go, big wide world to swim in now. No, don't come back up. <sighs> so there we go. Another little creature rescued from, I don't know what he was doing in there. The pigs might have well have drunk him in the end or something daft, but uh, yep. Go. Oh, it's the same sort of breakfast for Pam here. And Luke, he's my shadow. <laughs> um, yep, yeah, I forgot to say they also have boiled eggs and what else have we got in there today? God, you've eaten that quickly. Um, and also some rice and stuff like that, boiled up rice, which I do overnight. Um, yeah, so these guys are going to be out of this paddock fairly soon once we get the new house built, which is well underway. Just waiting for the pallet delivery, so... There's your breakfast, boys. Right, I'm going to check your water, but I don't think you're going to have any turtles in there. Hey, Ham, how's, it, how's Daddy doing? Hey, how's Daddy doing? Lovely, what a mess. Looks a much quieter eater. The same thing with Cindy, she has her ration, again, always with water and I always put everything in a bowl so we don't make too much mess. Uh, we check their water, so they've got a little catchment here. <sighs> yep, that's working fine. Hello, where's all your little brothers and sisters? Oh, not in there. They are hiding over here today. Hey, how you doing? Hey, looking lovely. Aren't you? Hey, come on. Hey. Oh yeah, who's your finger to bite? Bites. <laughs> yes, they've already got quite uh, impressive little teeth. Hey. So yeah, they're doing really well. And your little grunties. Hey.
Hello, curious. Hello, you curious lot. I may have to think about altering security arrangements here. <laughs> so we're taking a bit of time out and uh, doing a visit to the old um, Roman villa in Belmont. So this is uh, Roman ruins. And this sort of tells you all about what all these little buildings and things are, which is fascinating. So this is the original door threshold of one of these uh, buildings and we think this is where they used to store well, according to this, the fertilizer and everything for the fields and for the farms. Yeah, and this one here was the barn where they obviously stored all their produce.
Okay, there. so that's it from us. Uh, we've had guests this week, obviously, and his dad and Val. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the sightseeing in Belmont <laughs> and stuff like that. But um, yeah, not an awful lot going on this week. Obviously, we've been entertaining. Mm -hmm. But uh, we'll see you in the next one. So thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you for, please, if you could ding, do, ding, ding. ring that little notification bell. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. There. So there, I've got... I've got this funny stuff leaking out of me because uh, I've been digging. Okay, so we've uh, planted the little mulberry there. So I shall now go and take the shovel and the pot and the bits and pieces here and go and get a wheelbarrow of olive cuttings <laughs>